Now, I'm not sure how it is for you guys, but for me, RuneScape is heavily reliant on the fact that I can go PvPing for me to enjoy this game. Now, I don't always need to be able to go PvP to enjoy this game, but a huge reason why I like to play RuneScape is that I like to play player versus player. I like to go PKing sometimes, and whether it be from either LMS or high risk PKing or dead man mode or whatever it normally is, that is a huge reason why I actually play the game because it is a very cool concept for me to be able to go PK someone else and get all of their items. I mean, I'm sure other games have had that before and I'm sure there are other games that may do it better or may do it worse or whatever it might be. But point being is that RuneScape is the game for me when it comes to this. I really enjoy the, uh, that aspect of PvP. So why am I telling you this? Why is that even relevant? Well, obviously that means that I like to watch a lot of people PK. I really do enjoy watching PK videos. I enjoy making my own PK videos even if they may just be, you know, commentary these days or just you know, me talking over some clips and doing some high risking. Whatever it might be, I really do enjoy PvP in every aspect. So. One thing that I like to watch a lot are Team PK videos. And there's a lot of techniques that you will see in these videos that are used to actually skull trick people. Now, I mean, I've skull tricked people in the past, uh, not really on uh, OSRs that much. I mean, it's not really possible unless you're in Team or unless you're trying to be a little bit conniving or whatever it might be. I mean, there are a few different ways to do it but uh, I'll cover the ways you can do it solo in a different video. There are many different ways that you can skull trick people. I mean, I've seen many different ways in videos, but I'm only gonna go over the one right now just because it's so simple yet it's so effective. Now, PVMers go to the wilderness for one of many different reasons, but when they go to the wild, they normally don't risk anything whatsoever. I mean, they normally have something like a whip, and if they're sensible enough, they will just bring black dehyde or something like that. But the point being is they maybe have one good uh, weapon or one good item, maybe two or three. Point being that they just don't plan on sculling. So there's a lot of different areas that they normally do it. But I'm just going to cover this area for now because this is normally or this is probably one of the only areas that you can get away with doing this. I mean, maybe there are other areas, but I'm just going to show you by reenacting it. So this is my friend right here. I'm just reenacting what normally happens, as you can see. I mean, he's not a pure, so it's not like he's gonna really, you know, kill me whatsoever. But that's fine. I'm just doing this to uh, kind of reenact what uh, they normally do. So you get attacked by a PK, or you know, normally a team falls in on you or something, and naturally, what are you gonna do? You know, you're not really risking much, but you don't want to die. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go try to escape to the Edgeville lever or the uh, Ardoin lever. But one thing you might not realize is that I'm trying to click on the web to slash it and to open it up, and so many people make this mistake in videos. Look at that. Did he even see that character right there? Again, that's my friend. <laughs> he made his character all black and he has black robes and everything and then you accidentally get skull trick. That's when you get TB'd and teams kill you and everything. It's a really smart way to actually trick skull people. You'll see this happening a lot on PVMers as well as PKers, but mainly this is just used for PVMers. I mean, sometimes there are PKers that aren't really skulled, but I mean, it just may be coincidental because what, what PK is gonna go to 50 wild and then just attack the person or rather have the person who they want to attack say, hey, can you please attack me so I don't need a skull? I mean, it's not very common that you really run into that, but it is used for PKers every now and then. Now, aside from this horrible switch right here, which I could have sworn I switched into the DDS, but you know what? It was 2 a.m. when I did this. It's like 3 a.m. now, actually. I really don't know why I record these videos at like 3 a.m. I mean, I'm normally just busy during the day, so I guess I'm not home, but I guess it's kind of silly. Anyway, so uh, just to show you how convincing this is, or how easy it is to be tricked by this, because I know this, and I've even fallen victim to this. Look at this. You can't even see his character whatsoever. Like, <laughs> the pitch black skin is ridiculous. Uh, all he needs to do is actually just wear um, a priest robe top and a priest robe bottom as well, and then he would be able to get away with uh, just being absolutely pitch black. So, thank you guys for watching. I swear that was racist. And I will see you guys, uh, I mean, I don't know, two, two days, three days? I don't know. I've been really busy going back to school. Okay, bye.